Yes, boys, welcome back to another video on the channel, FC25 as always. And today, of course, is the pre, the full release, sorry, not the pre-release, the full release and the first promo of FC25. Of course, that is later on uh, and it will always be in tomorrow's video, as you know, um, if you watch the channel for a while. Um, as you can tell by the thumbnail and title, we are showing you the team finally after we have moved away from the Chelsea RTG and we are going to go and take that team into Foot Champs qualifiers. I decided that I better try and qualify because if I fail then I've got this week's rivals to get enough points so I can try again. Um, so let's see, do we need multiple attempts or will we not? We're going to quickly show you who we got. Um, purchases and SBCs for the team and then we are going to get in and show you the team if you guys do go on to enjoy the video please make sure to like and subscribe it will be very much appreciated and let's go and get into the video and of course the first SBC we're going to complete is a big big one it is Marcus Turam um, not sure how I'm going to get on to like him. Look at the tunnel, by the way. Absolutely beautiful tunnel. Beautiful tunnel. It's going to be so nice to pack promo cards this year. Um, obviously, he doesn't have his badge. But I'm not sure if I'm going to like him. He's quite tall, bit clunky type of player. You can tell by the balance and the height. Hopefully, he's not too bad. Um, and then we move on to, of course, pretty no-brainer if you haven't done this. I think you're pretty... Thick, if you haven't done this, all due respect, this SPC is just a joke. 80 plus in every stat, near, en uh, near enough. I think it's only defending, missing, or physical. But yeah, absolutely nice card. Quite hard to link, unless you use Grimaldo, who's pretty bad this year. But other than that, a very nice card. Incredible passing and dribbling. Just what you want in the midfield. And he's got a playstyle plus, so that is not bad for Garcia. And now, let's check out our team. So then you just saw me get these two beasts. Um, I'm thinking of putting them into a team. Obviously, I only completed them last night. Um, when I was trying to build my starter squad, these two didn't really, couldn't really find a fit to what I wanted. Um, and yes, I know Foden's on the bench. Shock. Uh, but Palmer, Hamsick, people like that. These lot are all here. Um, I'm not going to show you my tactics because I posted a tactics video like yesterday, day before. And I don't want it to be like just farming video out of tactics. Maybe I'll show you in a video if you want to see. But obviously that's for another day. So to start off the team in goal, we have Diogo Costa. Now maybe you might be able to see where this is going to go. But maybe you don't. Right back. We have a couple of options, but we're going for Malo Gusto. Incredible card. If you don't have it, you missed out big time. Two centre-backs. We have got Ibrahim Akanate and Eduardo Caresma. Canate's just a beast. Kept destroying me and rivals, so I decided that I've got to use him. And then left-back, we have flashback David Alaba. You saw me complete him yesterday's episode and we'll move to the center mids first the center mids are pack pulled jude bellingham still tradable i'm still able to sell him but i'm not sure if i will i think it's too easy to get coins in this game and then we have renato sanchez what a card this is by the way genuinely incredible and then we'll go for the right mid first newly added to fifa ultimate team lamin yamal and you probably saw him on that page. The next player is Nico Williams. 130k for this card. And I mean, he's not disappointing. And then the two lethal deadly players up top. We have Antoine Griezmann and our Evoed power shot, Xiao Felix. Just a nice team. Um, this team does get full chem. We do um, use him. 32 cam, sorry. Yeah, it gets 32. Canate doesn't quite get it. But this is the team we have for now. It's actually not a bad team in any way, shape or form, to be honest. 
not many weak points. This Renato Sanchez broken Evo, if you don't know how to do it, you put him in um, Octopus, complete it, and then you put it into box to box, and you get this card. At this point in the game, is ridiculous. He's like the Alex Garcia card, in my opinion, a lot better. And then we've got some nice players on the bench that do come on. Mostly Foden and Hamsik come on, but, you know, I haven't used these two quite yet. But yeah, this is the team, and this is the team we're going to go use in Foot Champs qualifiers. Can we qualify for Foot Champs on the first attempt? And now we are heading into Champs, as promised, as said. And when I saw this as first game, I was scared. The team obviously isn't like amazing, amazing, but when he's got like icons, oh no, you know, I was dreading this dreading this so badly but we get a ball out to Jao Felix second minute of the game we get it into Griezmann as well Nico Williams is there and that is 1-0 in two and a half minutes Nico Williams has put one on the score sheet for us and he's coming forward again Nico Williams leading the attack this time into Jao Felix who puts it bottom left with a great pass from Bellingham and that is all she that's, that's all she wrote eight minutes he wasn't having it and I'm thinking this is easy. I'm already 1 0. This is easy. We move into the second game. 4 5 1. Was a bit concerned, obviously, because I've been struggling to break down 4 5 1s recently. But it's not going to be the case. Look who wins the ball, by the way. Renato Sanchez. Xiao Felix puts that one in the back of the net. But Renato Sanchez has won the ball back there to stop his attack and to start ours. Lamine intercepting a defensive mistake. Green time near post. I'm telling you now, boys, if you need help with this game, you learn green timing, learn to green time everything, and you will not have any more problems, I promise you. Green timing is literally the thing to do. Felix wins us a corner off of the power shot. Alaba whips it in. Mr. Griezmann is there. Antoine to put it in the back of the net. little bit of celebration. Look at that. Lovely bit of samba from the Frenchman. And he's put us up ahead yet again by another goal and look again who intercepts the ball Sanchez with a tackle Renato Lamine into Griezmann he's glided past and then look at that near post OP just like every year you know I got you you guys know I love a near post finish even last year just too broken sometimes the keepers just don't compute to it so that is 2-0 and oh. may I add that is 2-0 and oh. Now I'm thinking I can go for 5 and 0 here. But we got to be a bit complacent. 2 and 0 going into the third game. He's got Marcus Turam, he's got Garcia and a couple other nice players like Lamine Yamal and Yamal has put Turam through for the 1-0 lead and we're already behind in 10 minutes, but we can't let that get to us. 18 minutes, just 8 minutes after Bellingham to Jao Felix, we've seen it before and we've seen it again. And it has put us level in this game. And now it is half time, just about. I can't tell which side of half time. It's the other side. Just come out of half time, and Griezmann has pulled that out of a hat. That is a rabbit out of a hat, that one. You're questioning how he's done that. Because that is beautiful. Travellers are so broken this year. It's great. And then we've brung Hamsik on at striker for Felix for that power shot, as we'll see, they both do. But. Foden into Williams, poor shot, but thankfully Griezmann is there to pick up the crumbs and to put it in the back of the net. And that is a 3-0. and oh. One goal conceded, Collie's run. I was going to go for 5-0, and oh, but I can't lie, it was quite late and I didn't want to play anymore. I was happy with the rewards and you know what I mean, I just didn't need to stress. I was qualified. So look, as you see, I'm not lying, 3-0, and oh. done. Claimed, finished, finito, rare gold player pack, small prime. We're done. We're laughing. We somehow actually qualify for champs. I thought, well, what pe people were describing it as if it was hell. But I found it super easy. Not a bit of stress, not a bit of sweat. I was fine, calm all the way through. So, you know, that's good for us. At least we know we've got a bit in the locker. 
So, you know, we can actually do a little bit. Pack Mr. Chili and Ian Matson. Um, we're going to list them up just in case they sell. Uh, the rest can um, see better days in the discard pile. And then the rare gold pack. And that is our foot champs done. And to be honest, it's not bad. Quali's done quite easy, quite simply. And yeah, I don't mind it. We're packing in for minimum price, get a Louis. Um, sad to see him so low rated. But the game is the game. People have to retire eventually. And then we're moving on to give us confirmation of finishing the Renato Sanchez Evo. And look at that. Mental, mental card. You saw what he was doing in those games. You know what I mean? Two interceptions to win us goals. He's just everywhere. He's so defensively solid. Him and Bellingham partner so well. I have them both on box to box. But Renato Sanchez stays back a bit. Because I think he's better defensively. So he actually stays back a bit. Whereas Bellingham pushes forward a tad. So, you know, he's, it's, it's quite nice actually. That these two work quite well. Uh, we got an 82 times 2 for playing 15 games. With 7 La Liga players in our squad. It is the World Tour objectives. Um, we didn't really have to stress for that one because half our team is La Liga because it is obviously the best league this year, without a doubt. Even now Mbappe is there. We have done our 77 doubles and our marquee matchups, all ready to be sent off and claimed. And to finish off the video, we are going to open these up and hopefully, potentially pack ourselves a little addition to the squad. But... Obviously, that was the same day we packed Bellingham and Rafinha in form. So I do not think we can complain too, too much, um, judging the luck we've already had. And, you know, they, they gave us nice players. We have a nice team. It's quite hard to upgrade our team, actually. It is genuinely, uh, you might not believe it, but it is actually very, very hard to upgrade our team. Like we got a finesse shot, we got a Jude's, we got Lamine. Obviously, we could probably get in Van Dijk and Saliba and a Rojo and all of them people, but it's not it's not a it's not a necessity. We've seen that in the games today. We only conceded one goal today by using a squad foundations card, Malo Gusto, Alaba and um Canate, you know? We're using minimal centre-backs and still only conceding one goal. So, uh, you know, we don't really need to do much. Um, still looking at my players here right now as I'm uh, commentating this. And they haven't actually gone down in price. Griezmann has actually gone up a little bit. Uh, Nico's gone up a little bit. Bellingham's up a little bit. Uh, Yamal's gone down a slightly, but his price isn't fixed because he's not in packs. So... You know, it's it's not it's not the end of the world. See, I was thinking of selling Jude's and maybe bringing in like a Frankie De Jong or someone like that, and then having spare coins to upgrade a centre back. So I was thinking of buying Saliba. So sell Bellingham, buy Saliba, and then buy like De Jong for midfield. Um, I'd still have like 150k left after that, so. I don't know, we'll we'll see, but I'm really enjoying Jude. I think I might just keep Jude, because I think it's easy to get coins in this game. But let me know what you think, and this will mark the end of the video. Thank you all for watching. Hopefully you have a great day, and wow, we qualify for champs, and that is quality.